What if I told you that all of these images have been created just with artificial intelligence? Amazing, right? So take that thought and imagine what will happen if all of the different covers of the Cosmere were created by AI. Well, today we're gonna make that thought, that dream, True. At the beginning, I will be sharing a little bit of the different AI programs that I've used, what I've learned about it, and you know, just a little bit of context. And right after that, we will be seeing the different Cosmere books and their current cover and the cover created by the AI. Also, make sure to stick till the end because I will present you the Cosmere Artificial Intelligence Challenge and I will teach you how to use one of these programs. Before we start, a fair warning. Although I've invested a little bit more than 12 hours researching and playing with the different programs in order to generate these images I am no expert but nonetheless feel free to add a comment your opinion whatever right down below in the comments and I will be so happy to see your thoughts for this video and the images I've used three different AI programs Dali Mid Journey and Stable Diffusion. All of them work in a fairly similar way and everything revolves around prompts, which means that regardless of the platform that you are, you will need to input a set of concepts, kind of like a description for the AI to gather that information, process it, and you know, just output the image. Usually what you get is a set of different options based on that prompt, and then you can either create variations, upscale them, or you know, just change them completely. And this sounds easy enough, right? So I ask you, what are the different concepts that comes to mind when you're thinking about Stormlight Archive? We've got Endless Storm, Warriors Fighting Giant Crabs, we have Magic, Dried Sand, and overall this fantasy world vibe. That happened. So obviously there's a little bit of a learning curve with the prompts there for the use of Lexica, which is this website that had millions of different images with their prompts listed. It's incredibly practical and useful. You can start there, you can fine tune your prompts and then something much better should happen afterwards. And let's go little by little with the different programs. DALI, it's the first one that I used and it's acknowledgedly the precursor of this movement. You can have free access to the beta, but you have limited credit and afterwards if you like that you need to pay for different credits the interface it's really clean everything gets saved and it's very straightforward to start playing around creating variations and you know there are amazing things done there the second one and probably my favorite it's mid journey and it's the one that is currently being used the most for artistic purposes you can also access freely the beta through a discord channel you will have some attempts and after that you can pay through different services different tiers and the last one stable diffusion it's also provided very good results and it's an open source program so it means it's free. I really encourage you to start trying the different ones and see which ones are the ones that you like the most because creating something has never been this easier. Let me know down below if you have tried some of these already or not. And with that out of the way I will be showing the different book covers and the different images that I gather with it as well as the different platforms that were used and I will be showing these different Cosmere books in my preferred reading order. And let's start with the Lantris, a standalone that is really low on magic. It was the first book that was published by Brandon Sanderson and I believe it's an amazing introduction to his work, to his writing style. Of course, there's a lot of things that need to be polished, but I feel that if you read it afterwards, these will feel kind of like a meh kind of read. And first, let's take something out of the way, which is this Spanish edition. It's the most beautiful one and there's no AI that can win this. So let's assume that these does not exist. But that instead we have the current existing ones. This one, this one, and this one. And this is how a land trees would look like if created by an AI. The prompts revolved around broken city that it's turned into pieces, a little bit of a dispersed ambience, a fantasy world. Then we have a warrior with red armor. We will also have this epicness. A land tells a story of this world where if you get this sickness, you will be expelled to the city called Elantris. And we will be following three different points of view. The first one is of this prince that gets sick the second one is of this woman that it was supposed to be married to this prince and the third one is of this red armor religious man that it's about to come into this place and also need to convert everyone otherwise a war will happen also i ask you which cover would you prefer and in this case ai cover created 
one. Let me know down below what are your thoughts around all of these. Continuing, we have The Emperor's Soul. This is such a short novella, just 100 pages, deeply character driven. And this is the cover which portrays our girl Shy. If you get a little bit into the details, you will see that there's like different inscribing elements. But the one that was generated by Mid Journey, I think it's way better, which represents a woman that is almost a warrior because our girl can really manage in a fight and she has this incredible ability to forge or inscribe things. It will follow our girl who has a little bit of a special power. She can write stuff and embed those things with life and she will be tasked with this mission of creating, inscribing the soul of the Emperor. Also when asking you here which one would you prefer the AI generated cover also won. And let's go now to one of my favorites, Mistborn Era 1. This follows the premise of what would happen if the evil one were to rule for hundreds of years. And the result is that we have this world that is deeply enslaved. They are surrounded by ash, by mist. There's an incredible magic system which consists on people being able to ingest different metals and with those metals they can do things kind of like as flying, modulate emotions. And I reckon this series had more covers created to it, like this one of the last ones, which I believe is actually one of the most pretty one. But things can go really wrong, at least with the Spanish edition, which is this one. But there are all the popular covers like these ones. And while searching what is the vibe, the prompts of Mistborn, you can only think about this CD cover at my mist in a fantasy world that has a little bit of despair, but also hope. And the result was this. I am so in love with this one, and you are too, because this one was the one that received the better rating. And yes, AI seems to be winning also in this case. Let's jump ahead with Mistborn Era 2. This happens hundreds of years after the events of Mistborn Era 1, and there's this flintlock setting where there's kind of like the industrial revolution kind of happening. So they have gunpowder, and they're starting to create trains, electricity is starting to burst. So there's kind of like that vibe, but we will have a very dark scenery in this world, villa, mystery, and it will be action books. This is book one, book two, Spanish editions both, and this cover was the one that took me the longest. You cannot imagine how creepy things went We're trying to figure out the correct prompts for these. And what we got is all of these. And in this case, yes, Mistborn Air 2 cover won again. And let's go now to one of my personal favorites, which is Warbreaker. This is also standalone. It's an incredibly good point to also start with Brandon. The most popular covers are this one and also this one. And in this case, beautiful things happen. The cover would be this one. As you can see, the main elements revolve around vivid colors, smoke, we'll have a girl, we will have power, we'll have magic. And in this case, it also won, potentially because it's beautiful. But as you can see, the faces are really not well done. This one that I really love, I adored it really. If you zoom in, it's weird. Like the face, what is happening with the face? There are different points of view, it's lighter in tone, and we will be following these two sisters whose fate has been kind of like changed. We have one of the sisters that is now betrothed to this god kin in order to avoid a war, and then we have the other sister, which was the one that was supposed to fulfill that destiny, and she is now trying to save her own sister. And overall, the magic in here, it's based on breaths, which is a biochromatic kind of magic. And last but absolutely no least, we have Stormlight Archive. This has a lot of different book covers as well. This is the first one that I've got in the Spanish edition. And I say that if we compare these with the result that we get from the AI, in this case from Adali, we have a winner from the AI. However, if we compare that with the last ones that we have with the hardcovers, then no. Hardcovers are actually amazing and I will need to invest more time on these covers. Stormlight is this amazing book series, character and plot driven and overall at its core it's a war between different races in this land that it's in an endless storm and the magic system is based on binding which means that you will need to fulfill a set of criteria in order to access this magic. Tell me what are your thoughts which one looks better for you? And now let's get into the do-it-yourself part. The idea is to create the biggest set of AI 
AI Cosmere images created by all of us. And for that, I will be teaching you how to use Midjourney and also how to access the Discord channel that I've created so that you can add and upload all the different images that you create. Right, so here's the main page of Midjourney. So you just need to click join the beta and you will be redirected to a Discord channel. So you just enter username and then you're in. When you get here, you'll see a lot of different pages, but the main thing is that you just need to go to one of the newcomers rooms. Let's go, for example, to this one. And that's mainly it. It's that easy You just need to come here, click slash, imagine, and you see there's the prompt there and you just need to enter the description. So dark fantasy world with magic. You'll see that your query will take a little bit to load. Let's wait a little bit more. Okay, 81%. But mainly the idea is that you have these two different sections. These different rows means that you can upscale that image, meaning you can create a better resolution of that. Or the other one below with the Vs means that you want to create variations based on that. So you just need now to choose what is the image that you like. For example, let's assume that we would like to generate variations from the first one and we really like this fourth one and we want that with better resolution. So we just have variations for the first one. So B1 and then U4 upscale them. You see it here. So these are the different variations that we've got, which you can still work, create more variations based on those or you can finally upscale them. And now what we're gonna do is to access the Discord channel that I just created for this challenge. I will link everything down below. And the main thing here is that you should be able to just share it.